Okay, so um, what are we gonna do today? Well, I've had this little problem and it's a minor thing. I've, I've got these really cool auxiliary lights on my bike and I got, you know, the power switchboard is right here. And you can see this conduit runs down or this electrical runs down. Um, normally when I have it into the battery, it's, it's kind of like this. And when you turn the wheel, what's happening and there, there, it's, it's broken the wire in here somewhere. And what's happening is when you turn the handlebar, the, the lights have three positions. They're low, they're high, and then they have a strobe. So every time you turn the handlebar, it'll go from low to high, and you turn the handlebar, and then it'll strobe, and you turn the handlebar, and it'll go back down to low, and, and it's, a, it's annoying. It doesn't stay, stay set to where it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do is, you know, this is my auxiliary battery that I use. Um, this is what, what I power the lights with. I got it on the charger here. All right, now it shows full charge, so that's good. Um, so let me unplug that from the charger. Now, you know, at least I say, like I say, it's I know it's fully charged now. Um, I got my horn on the charger every now and then. I got to plug this into the USB, and this is you know the horn and the alarm. I don't really use the alarm on it. Um, I mostly just use the horn. It's kind of cool that it's got an alarm, but. That's, I don't use it for that. So let's get all these cords out of the way here. So, what I need to do is I need to cut this this loom back. So I'm gonna get, get a pair of nippers and I'm gonna cut these zip ties off and get back into this and find out where the break in the wire is. Now when I put this back, once I find the break in the wire, and I fix it and I put it back together I'm gonna to route this loom a little bit differently so that hopefully it doesn't happen again All right, let's get these zip ties cut off here hopefully it's something that's obvious and I can find, you know, I'll be able to see it and maybe take care of the problem. But if not, well, there's a few ways that we can test it to find it. So you can see where I got, all the, I got a wire from each light and a wire from the switch coming together in here. The, it, it's probably it's probably broken right in here somewhere. It could be the solder connection. I don't know. What it is really, in my opinion, I think it's just that it, it's a really thin wire. Uh, it looks thick, but it's not. It, it's, it's, the insulation is thick, but the wires themselves are not very thick. So, this is how the thing normally sat on the bike. Let's see if I can come over here and show you. Make sure you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so normally, when it's in the loom, you can see where it, it's kinked right here. And so, what would happen is, is you, know, you turn the handlebar, it opens. You turn the handlebar, it closes. So you open and close, open and close, open and close. You keep doing that to a wire, and eventually it's going to break. So I'm thinking it's right here, but I don't really know. So let's uh, let's get this electrical tape off of here. Let's get it unwrapped and see if we can find where the break is. Now, of course. I hate taking apart anything that I've put together because when I make stuff or build stuff, I have this tendency to, I overbuild everything. And so it's always kind of a pain in the neck. Now I could take a razor blade and cut this off. But I take a risk of damaging the wires more 
than they already are and then I create more work for myself and I don't really want to do that so see there's one I got a shrink tube just everything shrink wrapped so what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna once I get this all unwrapped and I can find the wires I'm gonna plug the battery in and I'm gonna start wiggling these wires and see if I can figure out which one is causing the problem now you can see there's two very thin wires that go to the power source this one probably goes to the switch all right so let's get the battery plugged in turn the lights on and we'll see if we can figure out which one it is now if I bring you over here Hopefully you can see the lights now. Alright, so let's get the battery plugged in. Turn it on. Okay, we're on. Turn the switch on. Lights on. Lights are on. Which one of these is causing the problem? This is the big question. Oh, see, they just went out. There's the strobe. All right, I think it's this one right here. Now let's just make sure. I'm gonna wiggle some of these other ones. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing anything. Connections on these, oh, maybe. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm going to get a razor blade and I'm going to cut that back a little bit. I'm going to find a razor blade in this mess in my garage. I know I got some in here somewhere. Let's get a nice new one. cut this insulation back I try not to cut my finger in the process Alright, so at least I found the problem, I think. Um, and this is what I thought that it was. I thought that it was just... I think it's right here. Let's see the lights on. There they are, see? It's that. It's, it's this one wire. And you can see, I can actually see it. I can see the insulation's broken on it right here. So this is going to be a matter of getting some shrink tube and slipping it over this. Actually, I'm going to cut that off. And kind of the urgency of this is, is now the the days are getting a little bit shorter and um, I've noticed that you know when I leave for work in the morning <clears throat> it's not going to be long I'm going to be needing my lights to get to work so I kind of got to get this fixed now when I originally put this all together I soldered all these connections I mean, I did a good job on it. I put some shrink tube on it. It's it's broken right here. <clears throat> it's not the connection that I soldered. It's it's below that. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Um, I still have the COVID cough. 
Um, at least now it's uh, it, it's breaking up. Uh, I'm coughing stuff up. So, all right. So, yeah, I, I totally killed it now. Now it's not doing anything. So the brake is right here. So let's cut some more insulation off and see if we can find the brake in the wire. Well, that's a little surprising. I've cut the insulation off and the wire is still in one piece. Maybe that's not where it's at. All right, <clears throat> let's try this again. I think I found it. I think it's this plug. It, it's right here in this plug. If I plug it in, and you can see if I wiggle this. Let's see, I had it a minute ago. And now it's not making contact at all. It was if I didn't go all the way in with it, it would make contact. And now it's not doing anything. So, anyway, I think it's in this plug right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these wires up here so I don't short nothing out. And I'm going to see, I think I have another one of these and I'll just cut it and re-solder it. So I'm going to shut this battery off. And I'll go get my stuff. And... Alright, so I think I narrowed it down to this plug right here. This is what plugs into the battery, and I, I, eventually it failed completely, but if I was put it in not all the way, or maybe wiggle the wire a little bit, it would come on. Now it won't do anything at all, so I got another one. Thankfully, I ordered these through Amazon, and I got like a 10-pack of them, and of course I had to get one that's, that was bad. Um, so I'm going to swap this out. Uh, I wrote myself a little note on the bag that the brown wire which is this one is the positive so that'll go to the red uh, the blue wire will end up going to the black over here so I'm gonna shut this off and uh, get myself set up here and do some soldering alright let's see if I can show you uh, how I normally solder this kind of stuff and then what I do is I got a little acid core paste flux that I like to put on the wire and this will help the solder to flow it'll clean and it'll help the solder to flow. I also use rosin core solder for electronics 
And then I got my trusty old Weller soldering gun that I've had for about a million years. And this thing just keeps going. It just, <laughs> I've changed this tip I don't know how many times. And uh, it just keeps working. So I like it because it's got a high and low. So I can put it on high. And uh, it'll heat the wire up pretty quick. Now what I like to do is I like to put a little solder right on the tip of the iron. Kind of tin the end as they say. Now this is the hard part, is trying to hold the solder and the wire and the gun all at the same time. So, see if I can get it on here. Yep, solder's melting, it's starting to flow good. should do for that one. And I'll let it cool a little bit. Now I got some shrink tube on here so once it cools I'll slide that shrink tube over it and solder that on. And then I did the same thing to this wire here. I got some shrink tube on it. So what I like to do is just twist the ends. I've got everything twisted together pretty good. And then I'm going to twist the ends on here. And I'm going to apply some paste flux. Like I said, this is an acid core, or sure, an acid based paste flux. And I'm going to do it again. See if we can heat this wire up. Let's get some solder to melt on the gun. There we go, she's getting hot now. Alright. Hold this wire tight. I love the smell of this rosin core solder, it just smells cool. Come on, baby. My hands are still really shaky. Like I say I'm still kind of recovering from the COVID thing. All right, we'll let that cool. Before I tape it all up, I'll plug it in and give it a little test. Now hopefully what I'll find out is that it was that plug. So let's plug it in and find out. Plug it in. Battery on. And nothing. Do I got a bad battery? I could. Could be the terminal on this battery. I'll be darned.
I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so further diagnosis. Battery's good, got power. Switch does nothing. Everything's connected the way it's supposed to be. I can't get the lights to come on. This is the positive. This is going to the switch. This blue wire is coming from the switch. So if I connect this blue wire coming from the switch to the power, the lights come on. So that tells me I've got a bad switch or a bad wire coming from the switch and I don't know which is which. And it's not like one light comes on or the other. They're both not getting power. So this one goes to the switch. From the switch. This doesn't make sense. So this should feed to the lights and then the black wire coming back from the light should go back to the battery, to the negative on the battery. And that's all working. So what's happening is, is when I connect this directly to this wire, I'm bypassing the switch and then they come on. So I got a bad switch. I'm going to have to order a new switch. One more time just to make sure. Yeah, that's my issue. I got bad wiring in the switch. Right, let me turn this battery off. So when the switch comes, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm not going to attach this shrink tube yet. I'm just going to get some electrical tape and tape everything up so I can still ride it. I'm not going to be using any, any power to that, so I'll just get some tape. I hope I got some on here somewhere. I think so. If I was a roll of electrical tape, where would I be? Would I be over here on this mess on the bench? I think that would be something that I could just put my hands on. Not over here. How about in the big box? Anything over here? to have this thing fixed today but I guess it's just not going to happen so temporarily until I get the switch which I got from Amazon I'm just going to wrap this up with electrical tape so that I can unwrap it when I get the switch put the new switch on 
solder everything and get the shrink wrap on. So this will at least just keep it together so I can ride it back and forth to work. Now obviously I'm not going to plug this in. I'm not going to use it until I get everything fixed the correct way. This is just temporary. So I'll put my wire loom back on it. Again, just temporary. And I'll order a new switch. Now last time I got this switch, I got one that was non-illuminated. In other words, it's just on and off. But I think this time, since I got to change it, I think maybe I would like to have a lighted switch. So maybe I'll get a lighted one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this up onto the handlebar and leave it there. Let's see. Do I have zip ties out here? I know I got some inside. Sure would be nice to have a couple of zip ties. I thought I had a can of them out here. No? Damn. Maybe those are the ones I took inside. Oh, I see some white ones. I could use those. I'm just going to cut them off anyway. I'll grab a couple of these. I could have swore I had a can of zip ties out here. I usually have them everywhere. And the day when I'm not looking for them, that's when I'll find them. All right, so like I say, this is just a temporary thing anyway. Batteries in here. Of course, the only light that's going to work is the light that's on the bike itself. No auxiliary lights won't work until I get this switch. Well, I guess, you know, at least I figured out what it is. Or so I think, anyway. Alright, I'm going to shut this off. Well, so that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Well, the good news is, is at least I figured out what it is. It's this switch right here. Um, or the wiring in the switch somewhere. Who knows? Either way, I'm not going to mess around with it anymore. I'm just going to order a new switch. And I'll order a lighted switch this time around. So that'll kind of be a, an improvement anyway. And then when it comes in, I'll, I'll tidy up all these wires better than they are right now. At least right now, it's, it's just back together. So... I can ride it back and forth to work. So that's the way Cookie crumbled sometimes. Uh, it was kind of weird though that I could wiggle the wire and it, and it would quit. And I'd go, okay, it's that, that's it. It's right there. And then I'd take that apart and you know fix that, and, and then it doesn't work at all. And then I wiggle the wire on the battery, and and then it was like, okay, well it's the bad wire on the battery. And I change that, and then dead, nothing. Get my multimeter out, test the battery. Yeah, I got power coming out of the battery. I got power coming out of the wires where it plugs into the battery. I got power everywhere. Nothing's working. Connect the two wires for the switch, the light comes on. Really? I got a bad switch. 
So, it, you know, it happens. It's electrical stuff. That's just the way it goes. And there again, this is all cheap Chinese crap. Everything you order on Amazon, guess what it is? It's cheap Chinese crap. So, you know, with the new switch, it's probably going to cost me 20 bucks or something. I don't know. I'll look it up tonight. I'll order it. I'll have it in a day or two. No big deal. Um, so, maybe next weekend, I'll fix the switch. Well, Amazon came today, and I got the switch. So, let's see what we got here. Very similar to the old one. Looks almost identical. Just the only difference is, is this one's going to now have a lighted switch instead of just on or off. So now when it's on, it'll be lit. And one thing I am going to do though is if you look at the bar here, it's getting kind of kind of crowded. So I'm going to take this old switch off from here, and I'm going to put the new one on over on this side because there's a lot more room for it and then I'll get into the wiring and hopefully this takes care of my issue okay so this is this is typical Amazon bullshit <clears throat> so you get the, the new switch right what do you see here one screw one screw missing. Nothing in the bag. Really? That just irritates the hell out of me. Nothing in here. Nothing in the plastic. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. Since the switches are the same, I'm going to hope that the screws from the old switch will fit. Now this one just has a Phillips screwdriver. The old one had Allen. No, nope. and of course, no, they're not. They won't fit. They're too small. Unbelievable. I just can't win. So, what am I going to do now? I'm irritated. Um, what are the chances of me, you know that screw is metric, what are the chances of me being able to find a metric screw that size? Ah, I don't know. Well, it's going to take me a while to find a screw, so I'm going to pause this. Well, after about an hour of digging, this is what I come up with. So, this is the original screw. This is the one that I found that fit. Uh, thread pitch was correct. The problem is, is that the head of the screw was too big and it wouldn't fit in the hole. So, <clears throat> I have a belt sander uh, and I was able to reshape I don't know if you can see it very good. But anyway, I was able to reshape the head of the screw. So at least now they're both Phillips head. The one's a little bit bigger than the other one. You're never going to notice it when I put it on. So at least I'm back in business. All right, so at least I was able to get the switch mounted. The screw to work. You can see there's still a little bit of gap there. So I can tighten it up a little bit more if needed. But it seems pretty rigid right now. So I got it repositioned over to the left side of the bar and that this is already kind of cluttered up over here so it's a better fit over on this side. Okay, I have everything wired up just temporarily. All I did was twisted the wires together just so I could make a test. So if I turn the handlebar switch on. It illuminates and you can see the lights on the toolbox over there so that was high that's strobe that's high that's low oops 
Gotta give it a second. I got one on high and one on low. Why is that? One on strobe, one on strobe, another one on strobe, and there's high and low. So I'm going to have to disconnect one, I think, and then reconnect it. Question is, which one is it? All right, anyway, I'm getting somewhere. The switch is working. I got the lights to come back on. Now I just got to get them synced. <laughs> There's a high and a low beam. I don't want that. I want them both on high. All right, so I think I got everything back in, in operating properly. Um, what I did does, I left this loop a little bit long. This way when I turn the handlebars, it shouldn't kink that wire like it did before. So now obviously I've moved the switch from this side of the handlebar to this side of the handlebar. Oops, i got to turn the power on. So the battery is inside the bag. And when I use the light, I just turn the power on. And you can see I get the little LEDs, the green LEDs. Alright, power's on. Now this is how the bag will normally be. I just zip it up like so. So now I should be able to turn a switch on. And you can see I got lights. Strobe and high beam. And then if I turn the light on on the bike, see power on. Let's see, how did you do this? You hold this down? Yeah, there we go. So now I got, like I said, the, the light on the bike doesn't do a whole lot. You turn it off, you can see <laughs> it, it doesn't really do a lot. Aim it up a little bit. It's more of a people can see you not so much that it illuminates the road but when I turn these on these are bright there we go those things don't they light up the road so all right I'm uh, gonna say this is a success I'm I'm back in business now Get all the lights back on all right now the importance of this was I got called into work early tomorrow so when I go in tomorrow morning it's gonna be dark so I'm glad the switch came today I'm not happy about the fact that the switch was missing a screw and it took me about an hour to find a screw that would the thread pitch was right and then it was too long and I had to cut it down and then the head was too big and I had to make the head smaller so it would fit inside the recess of the switch. Now, look, I could have just called Amazon, but it would have been another day or two before I got another switch. And it's like, I got to have this working tomorrow. So it is what it is. Thank God I always have an assortment of screws that I was able to rifle through and I found one. And, uh, you know, no foul, no harm. I'm, uh, I'm back in business. I'll be illuminating the road tomorrow on my ride into work.